Imagine if you lived in a country that spoke a language and you did not speak the language of that country. You would be pretty useless because you wouldn't be able to communicate with others. We live in nature and there's a divine pen that keeps writing and drawing all those shapes in nature. It's a message, a subtle energy message, subtle energy information being constantly drawn in front of us and unfortunately nobody reads. Biogeometry is all about design related to life force and consciousness because geometry is geo is the earth, metri has to do with measurements of the earth, that means land survey basically as it was in ancient Egypt. And when you put geo with bio, you're moving to another dimension. You are, you are moving from the physical to the subtle energy level. So bio, geo, metri means measuring the life force of the earth. Bio here is a life force and it includes uh, consciousness, of course. And that makes the earth a living being, a living being and in which we are part. We do not live on the earth, we live in the earth because we live inside the atmosphere of the earth, which is part of the earth itself. So we are part of this living being, just as our immune cells or blood cells are part of our being. So when we act, we have to act according to the general uh, laws of the being in which we are part. So we will start from there looking at the language of nature. Nature needs to be understood and it is understood through the principles of its design language. So let us go further into the design language of nature and see what is different in this design language from other design languages that we use. We have to look at the design language of nature, try to understand it. In nature, we have to see how things grow, how life force interacts with natural shapes. The moment we mention life force as a major component in the development and growth of natural shapes, we enter into multidimensionality of nature's design language. It's not a design language that acts in the physical world. No, it's a design language that is multidimensional. So for example, if I want uh, to contain uh, a liquid, I design my cup in a way that contains uh, this liquid. If it's a flat surface, it won't contain it. So it has to be designed in a certain way to contain it. Okay, that's containing physical uh, matter. Now, we want to contain the full life force. The full life force in nature has so many levels. It has vitality levels, it has emotional levels, it has mental levels, and all levels are different levels of consciousness at the same time. And there are all the laws of nature are working through all those levels. So here we are dealing with a physical shape that contains multidimensionality of subtle energy levels. That means the physical shape is only a very small part of the total living shape in nature. Now, how can it contain, how can a physical shape contain things that are elusive to it? The only way that it can do it is through resonance. And resonance, we should understand that in, uh, with a musical instrument, string instrument, for example, if you hit one uh, string, every eighth string or every string with double or half its length will resonate with it. So the law of resonance goes from zero to infinity. The law of resonance, when things are in resonance, there is a sort of bi-directional information exchange. And this information 
is imagine how if you lived in a country that spoke a language affects us. You did not meaning speak the language that of that it's country. It's qualitative. You would be so useless because as we know, for example, you would be able to communicate with others. We are live an in nature, qualities, and there's a sounds divine qualities that keeps and we know writing that and they are drawing. They repeat all those shapes in on, nature on the different it's octaves. A message, a so that means a message. Equality actually exists constantly in all drawn and levels of nature, and from zero to infinity. Nobody qualities leaves. are different than quantities. Quantitative aspects are limited to certain ranges. While qualitative the geometry uh, aspects is all about are universe. design, any quality in the universe to life is multidimensional. Because geometry, so here the is shape J itself the earth on a physical level is designed in such a way that, means land that every angle as it was in, in that shape resonates when you put certain geo level with bio subtle energy. You're moving to another invisible. dimension. So you're, uh, you're moving certain. Uh, from the physical design to the subtle that we're going to look at in the so, design of shape, bio will make this geo resonate metry with emotions, means with mental measuring the life force levels of the earth vitality. And we bio here have those shapes, is a life force, those geometrical shapes that resonate with all those levels. Uh, we can use them in biogeometry to access information makes the earth on all those levels, being. either to find in living beings on the different levels and or. In which them, we are the services on the uh, different on levels. We live in so the earth because we, have we live inside the our sort of, the earth, of which is part shape codes of the earth for itself. the different subplanes of so nature. We, are, we have rulers on which we can this, uh, detect living beings uh, just as on the our subplanes of nature. Of blood that is why part when we are studying so the multidimensionality when we act of nature's design language, we have to act we actually have the practical the tools of uh, doing laws the research. Of now, the being how in which does we are something taught. physical so connect we will to the higher dimension? Start from there. Now, the resonance is achieved. The language the resonance nature. with higher dimensions is achieved. Nature, the connection needs to be understood through and it is understood through so the principles you have a vortex of its like that language that connects so between. Let us go every dimension. Into so if I language of draw nature here. And see if what I draw, if this is one dimension from other dimension, and we use. then. We I have to look vortex like this. The design language this of nature vortex try to understand can connect in nature to another to dimension, how and you can have a, a third dimension, and so on. Force so those vortices with their bidirectional spirals, the moment we they connect life between planes of nature. As in, so major while this one in is in our the visible one and growth of natural plane of nature, we enter. These into are invisible planes of nature, the higher planes of nature. Their are invisible. Design so language. every natural is not shaped design here. Language. Imagine this thick line to be a natural world. shape in nature. No, it's a design language has that this is multidimensional multi connectivity. So for example, all the if way I want to, uh, to an archetypal level, uh, a liquid, here. an archetypal I design level. my cup. The archetypal level in a way is a level that contains where uh, the this patterns. If or it's the a flat surface, it won't contain of it. All so it shapes has to be designed are stored in a way to contain it. And so the okay. templates, That's the energy templates, uh, come down matter. here. Now, we want and to govern the, full the shaping the full life of this of nature. shape here. So many in whatever sh shape it levels, is governed by levels, the shapes. Levels. We call that the archetypal dimension. Levels you have the human the template, time, you have the plant template, you have the tree template, the and all are working those are communicated down. Here. here, they we are, are communicated with through emotional the levels, physical and mental levels, and so on. All those multi levels are consciousness levels. They, they come down here. Subtle so energy there levels. Is growth. Let us that look means at the human being. The physical I, I shapes. My is friend, only this is a very small part. We've dealt with this in our courses. Living now, shape in I nature. I can actually measure now, how centers can it contain how can of physical shape on the statue. I have centers of emission to it. of life. The force. only way now, the centers of emission is through resonance of life force and resonance. We should understand that in in a uh, way with the musical the shape, string like for we example, said, the if shape you hit of the container connects uh, to all the higher levels. Every and it connects that through the vortex or every so string, string being with double have or half seven length. Major vortices here. So the law of resonance goes from zero to infinity. 
the law of resonance when things are in resonance, chakra, there is a sort of bi-directional information And then we have exchange. some other chakras above and this information some other chakras below. is now, how if I can measure the energy chakras, those affects us on meaning the statue, that it means it's qualitative. that the shape so qualities, creates as we know, for the example, connective vortices to all the higher dimensions. Are an effect on us, now, their qualities. The statue sounds on a qualities. physical level is and not alive. That they are but through they its shape themselves, it contains on, all on the, the other octaves. dimensions. So actually, so that means a statue can actually be a container exists of all the higher dimensions and levels of nature. I can take them from the from zero to infinity. To me. So I can actually interact with the chakras of the aspects. This are limited to certain that ranges. Chakras are basically a result uh, aspects of a form of universe. We have any quality uh, in the universe that is multidimensional. Subtle energy. Formed or so here produces function. Shape itself. So when we look on a physical level, like is designed a bit in inside such the body and see that every how angle an open energy system, system like the human being interacts with subtle with the energy outside. Level subtle energy that means life energy that's invisible exists outside. So now life energy uh, is drawn in. I draw and let's say through my breath the design I draw of shape. In and out will make the shape draw in life energy with emotions it goes with mental into levels the lungs with spiritual now, levels the lungs with vitality are shaped and to we produce have those shapes, the life energy in such a way that resonate with all those give levels it a certain we can function. use them in biogeometry so the energy is formless on all subtle those energy levels. comes in with Either all the to functions the together on the now different levels every time or they have to, to be correct them rearranged in such a way different optimal for the function they we have and that Our happens sort of through the shape shaping, codes for the, the different of the subplanes of nature. Lungs and we have rulers on which we can to uh, produce uh, the energy on needed the on that level. Nature. Let's that say the stomach when we will do it in a different way. The multidimensional heart will do it in a different way. Language. So the shape we of every organ have the will give subtle energy doing the functions research. that are needed now, to be how produced does something on physical the physical level. Connect to the higher and dimensions. At the same time, now, the resonance is achieved. Those shapes the resonance with higher dimensions is achieved. The vortices the connection needed for the multidimensionality of vortices. interacting with energy. You so breathe you have energy, a vortex your lungs, like that, the shape of your lungs connects should between actually every dimension. be fine so tuned to all the levels of subtle if energy. I draw, if Otherwise, one two dimension, lack, physical should be dimension, fine tuned to vitality, and to emotions, to mental. I have a vortex like so this. The design this vortex of the shape of the lung can connect will act to another with dimension. all those levels and you can have a, to produce a third the dimension function. and so on. So in so those the vortices, here, I can actually by uh, directions their functions related to the shape of the body. They connect between the planes of nature. One so or the while other. this one make it stronger than is the other visible so one. Let's say if I move the visible center plane of, of nature of the shape like these are on invisible the heart planes level, of nature, the higher planes, the heart level like this. They are I'll invisible. Accentuate so this every natural on stomach shape level here accentuate this shape on this level to be a natural shape in nature. Here we understand this that multidimensional the connectivity are shape related, all the way form related to the an archetypal level on the physical here. level and through the forming level. process. The archetypal on the physical level is a level connect where so that the forming the process creates or chakras, templates and jewels of that all shapes are stored multidimensional vortices and so the templates connect with the, the energy levels templates and bring come down, down life energy here into and shape. govern so the shape is all about making this living shape here energies. in whatever sh now, shape we have a it problem is governed in our civilization. by the when shapes we, we call that the archetypal science. dimension we have the human the template human you have the plant from all template, our experiments the tree because and we all thought those that the are human communicated being down is too here. subjective they to are communicated things like through that. emotional levels, mental levels, gives and very so on. Complex All very levels are conscious. In any levels, they, they come but down here. It doesn't so mean there is growth that let they us look at the human being. I, I guess complex variant here. This is a statue. We can go in. We've that. dealt with this but in our course. So now complicated. I can actually measure effect centers in a, of rotation a physical experiment on the statue that we decided have centers of emission human of life force of, uh, of now our centers of emission so we develop of life scientific force world we develop modern related 
with the human being out to the shape. So, like we what said, should have been the done. shape of I mean, the container when I have a formula connects to any all formula. the higher levels. Whether I'm and building a ship or building the vortices. Anything. So, if I human add being, the human have variable seven, but major that means I'm adding here, emotional, mental, we call the spiritual chakras, concepts. I'm adding subjectivity. I'm adding all those things in the formula. Stomach chakra, yes, chakra, we should have this sort of a dynamic. Some other chakras in there that contains so many secondary variables. If I can measure that the Reflect the subtle energies of on life. A statue that, that reflects means life that force. The shape so creates life force the connective vortices a major to all the higher dimensions. Variable now in the, the formula of on a physical our level, it's not scientific uh, but through its shape in our it contains all the other dimensions. So actually, a statue can be a container of all the higher dimensions uh, and transmit or I can living take beings. them from the stat transmit what we are doing now so I can create actually a very attractive the chakras of the that gives ultimate this pleasure and pleasure to chakras humanity are while at the same time of a being at process. the cost of the human we have being uh, there's something wrong in this formula subtle energy form we are shaped produces a civilization so when we look at that natural shape like life energy a bit inside that the body. Our and civilization how is open sucking systems, out like the human being the life energy out of the living systems in nature. Subtle and energy that means, that means reduced life energy, life energy means reduced exists immunity. Outside. Now that life as we go along is drawn and civilization in. Advances, I draw it, let's say, immunity. through my breath. I draw is in reduced and out. And we when end draw up in life energy. So Many it goes types into the lungs of pandemics now that the lungs will actually are shaped sooner or later to produce uh, and life on energy Earth. in such a way that give it a certain function. So the energy is formless. The subtle energy comes in with all the functions together. Now every time they have to be rearranged in such a way optimal for the function they produced. And that happens through the shaping the shaping of the body, how the lungs shape the subtle energy to produce the energy needed on that level. Let's say the stomach will do it in a different way. The energy coming into the heart will do it in a different way. So the shape of every organ will give subtle energy the functions that are needed to be produced on the physical level. And at the same time, those shapes create the vortices needed for the multidimensionality of interacting with energy. You breathe energy, your lungs, the shape of your lungs should actually be fine-tuned to all the levels of subtle energy. Otherwise, it will lack. It should be fine-tuned to vitality, to emotions, to mental, to spiritual. So the design of the shape of the lung will act with all those levels to produce the needed function. So. In a statue here, I can actually, uh, since there are functions related to the shape of the body, I can activate one or the other, make it stronger than the other. So let's say if I move the center of balance of the shape like that on the heart level, see, on the heart level like this. I will accentuate this chakra. On a stomach level, accentuate this chakra. On this level, accentuate this chakra. So here we understand that the chakras are shape related form related they are created on the physical level through the forming process on the physical level to connect so that the forming process creates chakras energy wheels that produce multi-dimensional vortices that connect with the higher levels and bring down life energy into the shape so it is all about making living energies now we have a problem in our civilization. When we developed modern science, we excluded the human being from all our experiments because we thought that the human being is too subjective, too opinionated and things like that. And subjectivity gives very complex variables in any experiment, but it doesn't mean that they cannot be studied, those complex variables. We can go into them but it makes things so complicated having a subjective effect in a, creating a physical experiment that we decided to keep the human being out of uh, our scientific experiments so we developed a scientific world we developed modern technology with the human being out of it so what should have been done i mean when i have a formula 
any formula, whether I'm building a chip or building anything, if I add the human variable to it, but that means I'm adding emotional, mental, spiritual concepts, I'm adding subjectivity, I'm adding all those things in the formula. Yes, we should have a, a sort of a dynamic variable in there that contains so many secondary variables in it that reflect the subtle energy of life, that reflects life force. So life force becomes a major variable in the formula of our scientific uh, experiments or in our scientific worldview. Then we would be building a civilization for human beings or for living, uh, or living beings. But what we are doing now is we have created a very advanced civilization that gives ultimate leisure and pleasure to humanity while at the same time being at the cost of the human being. There's something wrong in this formula. We are building a civilization that depletes life energy. That means our civilization is sucking out the life energy out of the living systems in nature. And that means reduced life energy means reduced immunity. That means as we go along, as civilization advances, immunity is reduced and we end up with so many types of pandemics that will actually sooner or later uh, end life on Earth.